What the heck is this? Dude, that's crazy. I don't see anything weird about Dude, this image. Look. Oh, right there. What the hell? Bro. I didn't even see that. I didn't even Dude. notice that. Whoa. Oh my god. That, that is creepy. That is literally the most terrifying thing I've ever seen. My name is Hi Michael. Welcome back to the Hypest channel on the internet. Tonight we're doing something absolutely crazy. We're doing yet another mystery box, except this time this is probably going to be the craziest one of them all. As you can see right here, guys, this is the Monster Hunter mystery box that I bought on the dark web. It just got delivered to our house today, so that's why I'm filming this video tonight. Now with me tonight, I do have graphics behind the camera. What's good, guys? And tonight. I'm gonna be helping Hype Mike uncover the mystery behind the Monster Hunter mystery box. I don't know if you're as excited as me, but this is gonna be absolutely insane. I can't wait to find out exactly what kind of crazy things a Monster Hunter would put in one of their mystery boxes. Now, before we do open it up and see what is inside, I do wanna remind you guys to subscribe to the channel because this is the type of crazy stuff that I do on the daily, as well as go down below, click on that join button, and consider becoming an official member of the channel. As well as check out my second channel where I do all kinds of VR games. Graphnix will actually be making a special appearance on my second channel, so make sure you go subscribe, go show me some love there. But with all this being said, guys, let's see what the Monster Hunter Mystery Box has in store for us tonight. Alright guys, so I was a little bit paranoid on the fact that I might have been scammed by the dark web. So I actually did open the box to get a quick little peek of what was inside, but there's actually a second box on the inside. So as you can see right here, here's the box that I opened, and then this is actually the box that was inside of that. So I don't know what the heck you could call this thing, but it actually seems like this thing has been nailed shut. So I don't know how we're going to get this open, I'm probably going to have to grab a hammer or something, but right now I'm just going to set the camera up and we're going to see what is inside in just a little minute. All right, guys, we are here. We are ready to open this box. Everything seems set up. Uh, the only issue is this thing seems to be actually like nailed into like this bottom piece here. There's like no really other way to open yeah, this I, other than the top. I've been here. like picking at it, and the nails, you know, there's yeah, they won't we can come do out. Um, tools. Yeah, let's try to get like a hammer maybe, and then yeah. try to like pry this thing open. Okay, it's that. Okay. That's so much easier. Here, do this. Yeah, this you side. do that side actually. A few moments later. What is inside the lid? just comes right off. First glance, we have some kind of book. Let's look at the first thing right here. We have some a kind of like crucifix. I guess this, maybe this was like used for like defensive purposes. I don't know. Okay, you see this INRI? INRI, right here? yeah. So it's, I don't know what, I forgot what language it is, but it, it means uh, here lies Jesus Christ, King of the Jews. Oh, okay. My chem teacher in high school told me it reads INRI, I'm nailed right in. And I believed that for wow. like, for years. Yeah. Yikes, and then you probably told other people. And I, and, yeah. And, and they're, they're like, like, that's not that's what, not. they didn't even speak <laughs> English back then, Nick. How does that, how is that what it means? Babe, okay, well, we're just gonna put that to the side. What else do we got? Okay, there's like so, these notebooks. Yeah, there's a bunch of, there's like two books. First book, we see. Wait, ooh. what is that? Wow. Okay. I have a feeling I know what's going on here. Wait, is that? Yeah, I think that's what it is. Guys, check this out. I recognize that. First thing we see when we open this, we have some kind of like letter here, and then a forest, and then this is weird. Some kind of like graphic. I know what this is. You know what this is? The yeah. trees that says beware? Yeah. What is it? What is that? It's the, uh, from a uh, Slenderman challenge, isn't it? Are you serious? I'm, I'm pretty sure, yeah, like Slenderman's forest. And this is a Monster Hunter, like, uh, Dude, box. Dude, look at the second photo. Yeah, 100%, I knew as soon as I saw What the hell, guys, look. A photo of this, like, tall man, and then it says he's real? That's, this is information on Slenderman, it's a notebook. It's like some kind of, like, maybe... Somebody was hunting him or something? Are they crazy? There's actually words What does it on say? It. Oh. My first visit in the forest to where hundreds of sightings of a tall man in a, in a suit, suit took place. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Wow, okay, yeah. Nick, I thought it was something completely different, but um, yeah, Nick seemed to know exactly what that was. That's pretty creepy, man. So that is first photo very, very terrifying. Says beware. Okay, so now 
we have a better idea of what that is. Yeah. Look on the left, guys. We have some kind of image of like a weird camera photo shot, but in the corner here, we have some kind of figure that kind of looks like Slender Man. It could be like maybe a different form, possibly. It says radiometric evidence of, of Slender, the Slender Man. Man. Wow. Wait, does that mean? Oh, yeah. See, this is like like a night vision. Yeah. Whereas if it was the normal picture, you wouldn't have even seen him before. That's cool. That is so this crazy. This is guys. whoever owned this crate or owned this notebook knew exactly what he was doing when he was hunting for these monsters. Exactly. So the next image is a playground. And you see a dark figure in the corner right there. Slender Man right there. I mean, look, you see the tentacles? Dude, that's creepy, man. Check it out, guys. There's a bunch of photos of this. I wonder if there's anything on the back too. One of the two recovered photographs from the Sterling City Library Blaze. Note, this photo was taken the same day 14 children vanished. Actual photo confiscated as evidence. Photographer Mary, Mary Thomas, Thomas missing, missing since June oh 13th, God. 1987. What's, what's the next image? The next image is, I don't see anything weird about Dude, this image. Look. Oh, right there. what the hell? Bro. I didn't even see that. I didn't even Dude. notice that. It's an image of just a bunch of kids and then Slender Man right there in the background. We didn't want to go. We didn't want to kill them, but it's persistent silence and outstretched arms horrified and comforted us at the same time. 1983. That's Unknown photographer. That's so messed up, dude. What the hell? What does that even mean? I don't know, like, is this a quote from- From one, one of the, of the kids, kids? Or something in the photo? It must be because it said, it comforted us at the same time. The same time. And Slender Man, guys, is known for like kidnapping children. That's yeah, what he 100%. does. And that's probably what happened to these kids right here. They all vanished the same day the, the Slender Man showed up. Man, this, this whole thing is so, so weird. We still have like four images to go, guys. So we have Slender Man. Here is real. Nothing's actually written on that one. There's this photo. And again, you can see him like in the corner right here. Oh my God. This kid and the person taking the photo probably had no idea. No idea that this was. Guys, look, Slender Man seems to be standing here. This one says, image of a boy called Jacob weeks before his disappearance. Assuming, Assuming this was when Jacob started seeing a man in a suit. What does it mean by that? I don't know. Maybe the kid was like saying that he was saying, and then you know, honestly, if, if I had kids and they, oh, I saw a man in a suit, like, oh. if I didn't do these types of videos and I wasn't like paranormally aware, yeah, I would think nothing of it. Yeah, this is really creepy. This is freaking creepy. Um, next one, we could kind of already read it from here, guys. It's just like a note or something. My two and a half year old nephew, Jacob. Jacob, okay. It could be the same Jacob, is worrying me. About six months ago, he woke up in the middle of the night saying there was a man stood at the bottom of his bed. He was terrified. He now sees him regularly and in the daytime at his grandma's house. Jacob describes him as a, the man in the suit. Doesn't seem like anything's written behind it. No writing on the back either. All right, I guess we keep going. Jesus Christ. That is, oh, and that kid has definitely seen him. He Holy definitely knows he's smokes. there. That is a definite image of the Slender Man right there, guys. All right, let's move on to this note that's been At sitting back, in right? here. It says Slender Man, described as a thin, unnatural, tall humanoid with no facial features. Everyone has heard of him, but not everyone has seen him. And then it says Slender Man summoning it. It's gonna tell us how to summon Slender Man? Okay. Well, he's a monster hunter, so he would know how to summon the Slender Man so that he could like capture, capture him. him. I wonder if he if he has captured him. That'd be crazy. If we could find like evidence of Slender Man in the box. Okay, so carve this symbol and it shows this like X into a tree or draw it on a blank wall. Place your head gently on the symbol and close your eyes and then chant the following. Slender Man, Slender Man. All children try to run. Slender Man, Slender Man, to him, it's part of the fun. What the hell? Wait a minute, there's another side. There's, and there's another side. 
Slenderman, Slenderman, dressed in the darkest suit and tie. Slenderman, Slenderman, you most certainly will die. die. That is that, I literally just got so goosebumps. creepy. I legit just got goosebumps. Here, I don't even want to hold this anymore. What the hell? Dude, if we do this, we could potentially summon Slenderman. Slenderman. Bro. Unless that's... unless he's actually killed him. But And I guess we'll we'll see. We'll find out Hopefully. in a little bit. So we should probably put everything Slenderman related in like one one, pile. one big pile. Alright, Nick. You we'll go see. next. I Oh my god, this is heavy. Whoa, it's that looks crazy. Black tower wine. Yeah, it's it seems like it's it's what? it's like cooking wine, maybe? I don't even know. I've never seen anything like this. This is old though. And like even the bottle, it's not like glass, it's like like ceramic. I, Ooh, I've I've never weird. seen that before. I've never seen a ceramic wine bottle in my life. Black tower wine? That is really weird. Ceramic container. Does it say anything? 1970 vintage. 1970. Holy crap, it's old. Check it out, guys. 1970. Why would a monster hunter have this? wine? Should we open it up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see exactly what's in here. Wow, that is really tight. Here, pull, pull, pull. Oh. Ooh. Okay. It's that definitely smells like wine. I don't know if you've ever smelled wine before. Yeah, that is, that's 100% wine. I mean, it's hard to tell guys, but it's very, very dark in there. But there is definitely something inside like, just yeah, a little there's bit. There's a little bit of liquid. Okay, that's very, that's actually really cool. Yeah. And it's not like creepy, but it's very interesting. I've never seen anything like it. So I wonder what we could do with this. All right, what's up? Uh, what's next in this box? Ooh. Wait, what is that? Ew. Ooh. That's actually kind of cool. It's like some kind of like bottle of some sort. Is this, wait a minute. Potion? It could be a potion. I mean. Like would a monster hunter use a potion for like I think this hunting? might be monster blood. That would be crazy. If I'm, I'm pretty blood. sure that's monster blood. Ooh, that's definitely not monster blood. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nope. Bad. That's not bad. But it's also like greenish. Uh, you guys is. can't, hold on. If I shake this, guys, you'll be able to tell it's not actually monster blood, but it's definitely something really, really strong. Yeah. Um, I don't know what the hell it could be. Nothing labeled, like it's just, yeah, just a random bottle. Random container, no label. You think I should like try it sometime? Uh, possibly, dude, that's a huge risk, but. Yeah. I don't know, guys, I might make a video on this, but I have a hunch that this is some kind of potion of some sort, but who knows, guys. If you guys yeah. want me to try it at the Devil's Hour, I will do that, but I don't know, it smells really, really, really bad. foul, yeah. All right, let's, let's move on to. Ooh. What the hell? Wait a minute, what the hell is that? What? Is dude, this is like That's crazy. Some type of like goat chupacabra. It's like yeah. You think it's a chupacabra? It could be. I mean, it seems it like say chupacabra. What does it, what does it say? Anything? Foca is an Irish goblin with a variety of rough, beast-like forms. He appears sometimes as a dog, or a horse, or even a bull. But he is generally jet black with. Bloody eyes. It's hard to read this because it's not. It's like really actually, tiny yeah. too. This is really freaking weird. I've never heard. I, of this I've name. never heard of this monster before. If there's anything on anything the back. Anything on the back? Ooh, oh, there is actually. The foca can sometimes be confused with the Go goat man. Goat man. You ever heard of that? I mean, I've heard of of like Satan coming down to Earth disguised as like a goat, but like never, never the goat man. Next, we have some kind of like sketch almost. Okay, let's pull this one out. Oh, dude, there's two sketches. Yeah, see the other one. What does yours say? Mine says sketch one. Mine says sketch two. Similar to sketch one, however, both are from different parts of the world. What the hell? Okay, so there's some differences. Maybe there's there's more than one, depending on each part Unless of the it, world. It like looks different. Yeah. Kind of like panthers and jaguars. 
I mean, yeah, that, that sounds like it's what it's saying, right? I think we actually have one more. Oh my god. That's an actual photograph of it. Holy crap. That's Dude, an look actual in the corner. Picture. Look. Yeah, that's a person. Dude, that's terrifying. Let's check it out. Holy crap, is that the goat man? It has to be, right? of some sort. Dude, this Man, is maybe freaky. That's, that was the monster hunter. Dude, there's no way that's the monster hunter. Bro, I don't even know. Go man setting it, Bowie. Maryland, Maryland near. Fetcher okay, it wasn't the road. wasn't the monster hunter. It's just more evidence that he's compiled. Oh, right, right. So it's like almost like a journal, right? Yeah. I'm glad we don't have that stuff in Canada, that's for sure. Holy smokes, dude. He is real. I have seen him. He's a science experiment gone horribly wrong. He is half man and half goat. And he wields an axe to kill. That's not good. And then, dude. It's a, a way to summon goat man. Open your windows, prick your fingers, and put your blood in a cup with monster bait. Chant the following. Goat man, goat man, I offer my blood to you. Please accept and show for me. Interesting. Just on the and other then, side. That was it. it. Seems like a pretty holy crap. The only thing about that ritual is where do we find monster bait? Do you think we could get some on the dark web? I mean, if, if anything's going to sell us. here, dude. What if? Let's. You think this is monster bait? That that could be monster bait. I mean, we're gonna need to find evidence. Like, I mean, this smells really strong. I mean, yeah, that would make sense. Like, then. really, really strong. Guys, if you think I should use this monster bait and summon the goat man, comment down below right now. Holy crap. Imagine Damn. summoning the actual goat man with an axe. Holy crap. That sounds absolutely terrifying. Okay. Wait, what is this? Okay. This is like a... Another... Wait a minute. Monster bait. Oh, it, this is monster bait right here. What the hell? Guys, look. It says monster bait. bait. It's really, really hard to read. Let me see it. And then it says something else down here. It says never open for long, long, long periods, of, periods time. of time. I don't even want to open this at all. Yeah, I don't want to risk open that. like summoning or getting like even if it's a small monster or something. So the wanna... ritual, the ritual was you put this in a cup with your own blood. With own blood. And then you do the chant to and summon the goat man. The goat man should appear. I mean, hold on, let's... Okay, yeah, there's definitely something inside. And it's fluid. So this is definitely... Where does this guy get this? I don't know. Like, this is really... This is honestly really, really cool. I'm actually very, very interested yeah. on what else is in this box. Well, here, pass it. I'll put this on the goat man. So this, this is not... This is not bait. It might actually be a potion, like yeah. you said. What else do we got? This is. Is that open? I don't think so. Oh, dude, there's a note right here. A healing potion lies inside. A healing potion. I guess when you're a monster hunter, you need these kind of things to like combat these monsters. Yeah, right? like if you get really hurt. Something's in there. Yes, yeah, the healing potion. Oh, I don't know if there's any way to open this. That nearly went everywhere. Good thing this thing is actually sealed. Wait a minute. Dude, look at this thing. This is, this is so cool. Look at this. Wow. It's a, a freaking healing potion. Wow. Dude, if we ever get hurt, we could just like, just gulp this down and then maybe, Our life I wonder if it back. works. I mean, it must be like, it's, it's a monster hunter box, right? You want to just have healing potions that don't work. What does it smell like? Ooh, that actually smells good. Wow. That smells really good. It's like really soothing, like a, like a nice soft aroma. Yeah, okay. Well, we should probably keep this handy in case we ever do summon any of these things. Yeah, we could just like take that. That's actually really, really cool. Yeah, it's, it's, what the hell is that? This is like a... Statue. Some kind of statue. Maybe it's used in rituals or something, like a 
Maybe it's like a saint or something. There was a uh, a crucifix in it, right? So it could be like another holy symbol. Mm, maybe. I mean, it doesn't look like any like religious thing that I recognize. It's got a lot of weight to it too. Like yeah, it was. It's, it's a lot pretty, heavier than pretty it looks. thick. Okay. Just put it aside, I guess. There's I guess there's no just... like writing on it or anything. So we have two oh. more books. We have this big thing, and then whatever this is. Okay. What do you want? It. You pick one of these. Let's do this. Oh my god. Dude, something actually fell. What the hell is this? This is like insane. What the hell, guys? Look. Like, and it has what? like. I don't understand what is. that could be. Here, let me see this. I'll, I'll open Was this. Was it like attached to this or something? Yeah. It kind of looks like what, a what? genie lamp. Not gonna lie. There's like these cool like markings on it. Oh, you're right. What? This is a genie lamp. It only has two wishes left. If you wish to use them, proceed with caution. Why would there Damn. only be two? Maybe he, the he... person who owned it, used one. Now the thing and with genies it. is that they grant you wishes, but it's never what you fully want. They're tricksters, right? So maybe he wished for something and the genie just didn't get it. Made him disappear. And you like rub it, right? That's how yeah. that's how it works. Okay. I'm gonna try my best to just not put to her do down, it. yeah, not. We don't wanna be messing with any genies. Alright. Let's go with this book right here. Okay. They just fell out. What the hell? Ew, is that a claw? What the hell? It literally fell out of the book as I was picking it up. That's disgusting. What the hell? That's a it nail. It feels literally like like my nail, except oh. thick, thick as hell. I'm afraid to see what monster is in this. Do you think it's a zombie, maybe? No, oh, man, it's... There's a really big note. The werewolf. Oh my god. Werewolf. Dude. First thing we see is this. What the hell? Dude, that's terrifying. Sighting of alleged werewolf. Like, if I saw that, the, I would assume that was a bear. Yeah, I would say that's, that's a bear. It's hard. Here. It's and so hard to tell what it is. Possible werewolf sighting in western Arkansas. That's Looks, in the states, right? Yeah, it's definitely in the states. And we have like some kind of like creature in the field standing up tall. I mean, bears do do that. But, but like, not in no, Arkansas. I don't no think bears there's bears in Arkansas. Arkansas. That's down south, right? Yeah. Ooh. Okay, okay, never mind. That's... Maybe if I was in Arkansas and I saw that. Like what else? There's literally nothing else that could be there. That's not a bear. That's 100% not a bear. Holy crap. Western Arkansas, werewolf sparted in the open fields. Another Arkansas, it's probably the same wolf. And then this one is hella creepy, it's- Let's see if this says anything. Oh, this is a long one, guys. Forest in Yellowstone, where multiple werewolf sightings have happened. A man of three children was found dead in the woods with large claw markings and bites. This image was acquired from its camera and was taken minutes before his death. That's messed up. That is so creepy. I, Frig, I wish I could see like its shit it's at least. figure or something. No, oh man, I've I've always wanted to go to Yellowstone. I don't I don't think I want to anymore. Yeah, if there's uh, werewolves running around. Like there, it says, where multiple werewolf sightings have happened. Multiple. Next image is another dark figure in the field. Unknown source. Oh my god. Whoa! Oh my god. That, that is creepy. That is literally the most terrifying thing I've ever seen. What the hell, guys? That is 100% a werewolf. And then nothing on the back. Nothing. I mean, you just have to say anything. Yeah, like this photo speaks for itself, guys. 
This okay. is freaking absolutely terrifying. Okay, let's let's read this. I have hunted werewolves for many years, and they are one of the most dangerous monsters of them all. Yeah, I can 100% see that. Monster is the only way to describe them. And then it goes into how to summon, summon a werewolf. They can only be summoned during the full moon. Place a piece of raw meat on the end of an open window. Mix black tower wine with monster blood and place it on the meat. Wait. And nothing on the other side. Damn, so the, the that was this, right? Black Tower wine, dude. How do you find something like this? I don't know. And then it said monster blood. Monster blood. But do there's, you think one, I was... there's one more thing right here, though. This and another notebook. What do you want? Uh, notebook. Notebook? Okay. One more monster. It's going to be in here. I'm thinking vampire. Vampire. Ooh. Yeah, that is a pretty like common monster that you would hear about. Let's see. Oh, something just fell out. I don't want to read it. I don't want to spoil it until I see the pictures. There's, there's, there's nothing. nothing. What does it say? Just a note. It says the, the witch. witch. Capable of powerful magic but that is different of a mage. They draw power from the earth, maybe? Yeah, possibly And earth. they're bound to the land in which they live. They see everything and hear everything in woods. their woods. They could see into the future and change it if they wish. Sometimes it isn't for the better, Be maybe? Better. It is said that they are immortal and only be stopped through a petrification ritual. Note, if a witch has been petrified, do not undo the ritual. Capable of powerful magic. Right now, I'm staring at this thing. This thing right here. Yeah. Oh. Do you think this is a petrified witch? You're right, because petrified means to be like, uh, almost like turned to stone, turned right? Just stone. Like or petrified like, wood? Like wood. That could be a witch. Oh my god. That is so crazy to think of. Do you think we could undo the ritual? It says, do not undo the ritual. I don't know how you would do that. I would probably have to do like some research or something. Yeah. That's scary. I don't even want to think of that. Okay. Last item of the box. Oh. Is it oh, heavy? It is freaking heavy, dude. Okay, we'll toss this to the side, guys. So the last item is this? fairly big. like. And it says, grinded ashes of a witch surrounds the bottle in which contains monster, monster blood. blood should only be used for summoning so this is this is monster blood what was the how do you summon how do you use the monster blood it was, it for, was the, for the the werewolf right yeah it you was for the, the werewolf black wine and the monster, and the monster blood. blood i'm curious was it open I'm hold on okay try to like Force it open, maybe. I I can't get it open. Maybe we need to like pry it open. Or yeah, something. we might have to like actually pry it open. I'm afraid of it going everywhere. Oh, guys, this thing is literally sealed shut, and probably for good reason. Yeah. Okay, let's try to get like a, a screwdriver or something. Okay, it's kind of oh. budging. Wow, that looks really cool. And look, there's the the ashes is like all in it. First glance, guys, there's a sort of bottle wrapped in rope, surrounded by what is said to be ashes, grinded ashes grinded of ashes. a witch. Let's try to get this out. This out. That is very, very creepy. What are these things? I don't know, but There's I mean- There's some weird like if it's, rocks. If it's ashes of a witch, it must have some sort of like paranormal effect, mm. right? I don't know why it was like surrounding this thing, but this bottle is like extremely cool. I'm literally touching ashes Ew. of a dead witch. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't- 
thinking when I pulled this out, but... Okay, guys, let's see if we can check it out, guys. There's, like, blood-ish stuff on the inside. This, like, bottle is extremely interesting. It's, like, surrounded in some kind of, like, rope, and then this is, like, coming up from the top. It's insane. I don't know if I want to breathe all this. No, let's, uh, let's close this back up. We might be able to use this in some way if it's... You know, if we can figure out how to, there might be like a really good use for it. All right, guys, I think we uncovered everything there was to this box. It's a little bit different than any of the other mystery boxes that I've done. Nothing like disgusting, nothing like making me want to like throw up like pretty much every other box that I've done. This has actually yeah. been really, really interesting. And maybe I could potentially use some of these in future videos, guys. If you do want me to do any of those guys, make sure to comment down below right now which video you probably want to see me do next. There was a lot of really crazy things and we even learned a little bit about some of these about, like monsters, the monsters that right? this guy's been hunting down. If you guys have any theories on exactly what we have found in this box, comment down below. I love reading all of the comments on these unboxing videos. Also, why would the monster hunter be selling his life's work? I don't know. That's I that's what like I've been thinking like, this entire video. Like retired? Like he just doesn't or, want this stuff anymore? Maybe he's dead. Maybe the monster hunter is gone. He's passed it down. Yeah. Alright guys, thank you so much for making it all the way to the end of the video. This has been an absolutely crazy ride. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you smash that like button. And if you guys are interested in me making any kind of videos with any of the stuff that we found in today's video, make sure you do subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the future videos that I do. Don't forget to check out my second channel. All links will be in the description below. Once again, thank you so much for making it to the end. And until next time, guys. Peace.